Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, my name is Gabi and today, as you can see in the video, we have another perfume haul. This time, we're going to talk about inspired perfumes. I already did a video about this brand, I'm talking about KDJ Inspired and I told you in that video how much I love their products, they're doing inspired perfumes and they have Delina, Lira by Zerjov, they have Lost Cherry, they have Baccarat Rouge, they have so so many perfumes. They have Roja, Amouage, Killian, Tom Ford. They have so, so, so many perfumes. And they contacted me and they sent me some perfumes. Some of these, so the perfumes that we have here, some of these were sent to me. Some were, I just, I just bought them. I just bought them because I love them so much. And this video is not sponsored. I just received three perfumes and this is my honest opinion. Like always, I'm gonna link the video in the description box, my first video with KDJ. And in that video, I just bought everything with my own money and I was just blown away. I was just in love. And I'm so happy that they actually contacted me and they sent me some perfumes to test out. And what I got in here is just amazing, amazing, amazing. It's amazing, guys. So. Before we start, if you like this video, don't forget give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and let's jump in. First, we have the most famous perfume, Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. This, I was actually very interested to try this one out. Lots of people are talking about this. They're saying that this one smells like um, a caramel, bubblegum, this is the scent that Rihanna said is wearing and now everyone is just going crazy, everyone wants to smell like her and I want to buy it but it's a little bit too expensive I mean it's exp not a little bit, it is expensive and they have it on their website so they sent me this one and guys I'm in love, this one has, let me tell you about the notes the notes that I have here are the notes for the original. Just because I want to, to see if I can actually smell what it is in the original, if they are that close. Because like I said, with this one, I didn't smell the original. But what they have on Fragmentica for Love Don't Be Shy by Killian is pretty the same thing of what I smell in this bottle. So, we have opening Neroli, Pink Pepper, Bergamot and Coriander. Middle orange blossom, jasmine, honeysuckle, rose, iris, and base note caramel, vanilla, sugar, musk, civet, and labdanum. This smells exactly like people are describing it. It's absolutely stunning. Would I buy a full bottle? I don't know. Of the original I'm talking. I don't know. Because this one is that good. This one smells like a bubblegum. Caramel. Imagine if a bubblegum would have the scent of caramel. Caramel, vanilla, sugar, bubblegummy. It's very young, it's sweet, it's young, it's flirty. It's it's good, it's good. If you like sweet perfumes, if you like fun perfumes, I would say, happy perfumes. This one is a very, very happy perfume. I highly recommend this one. With all of the perfumes, what I've noticed, some of them are complete beast mode, like complete beast mode. Some of them are just your regular, typical six, eight hours lasting power with good sillage, with good projection. I didn't come across with at least one perfume that doesn't have uh, at least five hours longevity. So the performance for the price is just, I didn't tell you. These perfumes are between 20 and 25 pounds for a 50 ml and they offer free shipping to the UK and for the most, I would say, famous perfumes like Baccarat Rouge and all of that, you can actually sample them and the sample is like 2 pounds, 3 pounds and they have all the time this coupon code that if you're buying 3 perfumes, the third one is half price. So. How good is that? Like you can buy three perfumes, three 15ml bottles for around 55 pounds. That is just amazing. Like honestly, that's just amazing. Um, usually I'm not into inspired perfumes. Like you can see I own uh, original full bottles, but when it comes to niche, 
I'm not that sure. When it comes to niche, I cannot blind buy, I cannot splurge, I cannot pay that much money on a perfume that I'm not 100% sure. With designers, yes, you can do that. But with niche, some niche perfumes, they can be too much. Uh, some niche perfumes, they just don't have the longevity or the projection that you would expect for that price. So with KDJ, I'm just, I'm, I'm blown away. Guys, I'm blown away. Like the quality, you, you can smell the quality, even though this one is very cheap. Like very cheap. This one was, it's like 20 pounds, 22 pounds. This, the scent is just amazing. I didn't smell the original, but from what I can see in the notes, from what other people are saying, I'm smelling the same thing. A very sweet um, caramel vanilla bubble gum. Love Don't Be Shy by Killian, the KDJ inspired version. Then we have, I was actually very interested in this one because this was compared to Love Don't Be Shy. This is Reckless by Roja. This, oh, I have to tell you, I like this one even more. I like this one better. This one has opening aldehyde, bergamot, citrus notes, and tangerine. Middle, we have jasmine, we have ylang ylang, we have peach, rose, violet, and the dry down, we have oak moss, we have musk, we have tonka bean, we have leather. I'm not getting the leather or anything too heavy, anything too masculine, I would say. I'm getting the jasmine, I'm getting the lung, I'm getting all of that, but with the bubblegum caramel in the background. I would say this, Roja Reckless. It's a more wearable, not wearable, but more daytime, spring version of Love Don't Be Shy. Yes, they are similar. But they are different enough to own both of them. This one is a floral sister of Love Don't Be Shy. I know the price for the original. I just know that Roja perfumes are just extremely, extremely expensive. I will, I will never pay that much for a perfume. I like to have multiple perfumes. I like to smell different every single day. And I, I would just not pay, pay that much for one perfume. But with this... This is absolutely stunning. This doesn't smell like a 20 pounds perfume. I know that some inspired perfumes, they have like a very alcoholic opening or yeah, they smell the same, but they don't last. This one's all of them, they last at least five, six hours. So love, love the scent. Uh, like I said, it's a sweet bubble gummy white floral perfume. Love this one, Reckless uh, by Roja, the inspired version, obviously, but I love, love this one. Then we have one that actually I actually purchased one month ago, two months ago, but I'm not the biggest fan. So I gave it to my boyfriend because it's a little bit too masculine for me. Um, but lots of people asked me to review this fragrance. Like I said, I don't have the original. I smell, I actually smell the original um, after I received this because I want to see if they're that close. And yes, they're, in my opinion, they're like 90, like 90, 95% the same. I'm talking about Veni Fatal by Tom Ford. This has opening. More rum. Olive barroom, I think. I'm not sure. Coriander. Middle we have barley, coffee, and frangipani. And in the base we have vanilla, suede, uh, tobacco, patchouli, oak mask, violet. It's not what I expected. And I'm not talking about the KDJ version, I'm talking about the original Tom Ford. I smell that one, like I said, for me, it's like 90-95% the same. It's a nice boozy vanilla, okay? You're getting the vanilla and you're getting the raw. Not really getting the tobacco, but what I'm getting very, very strong is the suede. And usually for me, suede, leather, uh, they're very masculine notes. And this is just too masculine for me. It, it's unisex, yes. I think it's exactly in between masculine and feminine. But just because I don't like suede personally, I will not wear this one. I gave this one to my boyfriend. He's absolutely obsessed with this. Uh, this perfume in particular has very, very good lasting power. It lasts on his skin like 
eight hours I would say and the siage is just crazy he sprays like I would say like four maybe five puffs and like the entire room smells like this I like the smell in the air I like the smell on him but I don't like the smell on me so for that reason I will never buy Pani Fatal by Tom Ford I was expecting I don't know what I was expecting because he has run he has a suede I was expecting like a sweeter vanilla and more vanilla perfume not really rum and suede I think it's a nice perfume but it's just not for me but this one the inspired version if you like Tom Ford Vanille Fatal definitely check this one out because the performance is just wow 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 it's it's amazing and like I said it's 20 25 pounds you, you cannot go wrong you cannot go wrong with that honestly so Vanille Fatal by Tom Ford three more to go then we have, I know, forgot to tell you, I know for some reason some of their bottles are like this and some are like this, really don't know. In the picture they all look like ladies, so I know what's the reason, I just have to mention it, yeah. So, we're going to the square bottles. Here we have by Armani Privé, Vert Malachite, 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 you know that one, the one that everyone is talking about, the one everyone is raving um the price tag is not very appealing the notes yes they are but i have to test it first okay so this one this this, this one here hmm i i do like this this one has opening bitter orange and petite green have no idea what that is middle we have jasmine ylang ylang and pink pepper and right down we have lily vanilla and benzoin you probably already know i'm not the biggest fan of benzoin but somehow in this fragrance it works these people are comparing this one with tom for soleil blanc with guerla terracotta and all of those uh, beachy santan lotion perfumes and yes i have to agree it has that vibe but it's also more wearable i would say it's also it for me, Tom Ford Soleil Blanc, I finally tested that one out. It's for the beach time. You're going to the beach, you put that perfume on, that's it. This one, I think you can wear this one also in town. It's a summer perfume. It's a summer perfume, at least in my opinion. You can wear this one also in town. It doesn't smell like you're exactly on the beach. It has that Santan lotion, but it's more floral, more like white flowers and more refined, I would say. Really, really like the scent. Again, not sure if I like it that much to buy a full bottle of the original. I know the, the full bottle, the Armani Prevail bottles are just stunning. They are just wow. But this is just, this is, this is everything that I need. I don't need anything. I don't need that bottle for, how much is it? 160, 180 pounds, something like that. When I can get this. And this is not the that I would wear every day. It's a scent that I would wear just in the summertime, so for that reason, I will stick with the Inspire version. Like all of the other ones, longevity, performance, everything is great. Armani, Vert, uh, Malachite, Malachite, I never know how to pronounce this. I think it's Malachite by Armani Privé. Then we have Amouage Sunshine. I wanted to test this perfume for the longest time. I want to test this for... I think five years five years and I don't have the original but I have the inspired version and I I do believe that in the past everyone was just loving it everyone was just saying that this is the most amazing unique perfume in the world and now recently when more and more people are trying to wear this one and to test this one out they are not that impressed anymore I saw for a like the recent the recent reviews people are not like wild about this that's thing that it's a little bit weird and i kind of have to agree it's not what i was expecting it is not this one has opening almond blackcurrant and artemisia uh middle we have osmanthus vanilla magnolia and jasmine and right down we have white tobacco papiru papiru i think juniper and patchouli some people were saying that this one it's very like almondy and a little like peachy even though it doesn't have peach and some people were saying that this one smells like what 
tobacco. And this is what I'm getting. I'm getting a little bit like a green white tobacco. For some reasons, I know that that's gonna like sound very weird, but for some reason this one kind of smells like a very concentrated uh, chamomile tea. This is what I'm getting. And white tobacco. I do like the scent. It's definitely not what I expected. Um, it's not your sweet gourmand summer fragrance. I know why people are saying that because this one is not sweet and gourmand. This one is very different. It's very unique. I think you definitely need to test that scent out first. You, 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 you can't really blind by sunshine. I mean, you can if you want. But I think it can be a hit or a miss. For me, I like it. But I think it's appropriate for the summer time and I need to be in the mood for this. I'm happy. I'm actually happy that I didn't buy, I didn't like blind buy the original because I wanted to test that one for so, so long. And I couldn't find any other perfume that smells like sunshine. And when I saw that they have this, I said, okay, I, I, I need to get my hands on that perfume. I do like it, but for me, like I said, it smells like green, white, tobacco, a little bit weird. A little bit weird, but in a good way, in a good way. That's Sunshine by Amouage. Definitely, if you don't want to check KDJ, but I highly, highly recommend you, you check the perfumes. Uh, at least sample the original, because it's not a safe blind buy. It's not a safe blind buy. That's Sunshine by Amouage. And the last one, I actually had one more. I had Coffee Break by Maison Margiela because I just couldn't find it anywhere. Uh, as you can see, I don't know if you can see in the video, but I'm a big, big fan of Maison Margiela. I have By the Fireplace, a Music Festival, Beach Walk, Whispers in the Library, Mutiny. I really love that brand, uh, but I just couldn't find in store Coffee Break to test that one out. And I got the KDJ inspired and I don't know how I did but I broke that bottle and my entire room smelled like that perfume for like two weeks. I ordered a new bottle and besides that new bottle I ordered more because why not so it's gonna be a part two where I ordered the Lina exclusive and the Leighton by Parfum Marley and more Killians and I got some samples so be ready for part two okay. The last perfume that we have in this part is by Penhaligons London and is the Bewitching Yasmin. Yasmin? Yasmin. Uh, is the more like expensive part of Penhaligons. Also the, the, the regular part of Penhaligons is quite expensive but that like, the most like the niche part with the animal caps is like super expensive and I actually tested one of them. I tested Constance I think it's called and I really really like the perfume. Unfortunately they don't have on the side but I'll I will check again and again and again because sometimes they don't have your perfume but if you check like two days later they might add new perfumes. They add new perfumes all the time. So this one has this one was actually sent to me. Um I never heard about this perfume and probably they saw what type of perfumes I like and they sent this one to me and I'm just I'm in love. Oh my god, this is this is so good. This is absolutely stunning. So this one has opening cardamom and coffee, middle jasmine and fur, and dry down wood, vanilla and incense. This it gives me very strong wood bouquet, Swiss Arabian shaga food vibe. Is that woody vanilla? But in this, this one doesn't have rose, this one has jasmine instead. If you like those type of perfumes, those woody oriental perfumes. Check this one out. Check this one out. This is, by the way, this one, especially, uh, I, know, I don't know about the original, but this one, it's a beast mode. The other ones, yes, they perform very, very good, but this one is a beast mode. This one, like the sillage is absolutely crazy. Like sillage, it's crazy on this one. And nobody, I mean, nobody would think that this one, it's an inspired version. It's not the original because it smells it smells so good. Imagine this is what I'm, I'm getting. Imagine getting Swiss Arabian Shaga food and you replace the rose with jasmine. 
this is basically what I'm getting. I I love this. Maybe also a hint of coffee, but this one is by no means this one is it's a uh, coffee perfume. No, I would say this one is a vanilla, woody, and jasmine perfume. Really, really, really like this one. I'm so happy they sent this one to me because I will I will never test this one out because I've never heard of it. But yeah, this is this is stunning. If you like your woody perfumes and you want some deep, dark, sexy perfume for the um winter time this one this one is for you trust me this one it's good good and that was it for today guys like i said it's gonna be a part two Um, everything in the second part it's bought with my own money uh i have to i want to thank kdj again because they sent to me three perfumes they sent me uh, reckless they sent me love don't be shy and the bewitching jasmine they're absolutely stunning. I love all of them and I'm so happy that they sent to me and I can review for you guys all of these amazing perfumes. I'm gonna link that um, the website, the channel, what I'm talking about. I'm gonna link the website in the description box. Go and check them, them out, especially if you are from UK. It's free shipping, you have nothing to lose. You can test perfumes. Like I said, they have testers. Um, they have samples, they have, for some perfumes they have like 50 ml, they have 15, they have 100 ml, they have perfume oils, they have so many good things and it's so easy, you just, it's no, you don't have numbers of things like that, you just search Amouage and everything that they have from Amouage is, is going to show up. Uh, you search Killian and again, everything that they have by Killian is going to be there. And that was it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and like always, I'm going to see you in my next one. Bye-bye.